alaikum and welcome to Titley's Busy Kitchen with me, Titley Nihan and Mr B. I was asked to show how to make a Moroccan fish tagine, but of course that supposes that I have a tagine and some fish. What a piece of luck! The first thing we have to do is make a marinade for the fish called a charmoula. And I have juice of half a lemon, half a cup of chopped parsley, half a cup of chopped coriander, six cloves of garlic finely chopped, half a cup of olive oil, and in the spice tray I've got a teaspoon each of paprika and salt, half a teaspoon of cumin, and a quarter of a teaspoon of saffron. And I'll just mix all the ingredients together in a bowl. Lovely. In this bowl I've got 600 grams of meaty white fish. This is ling, but any white fish will do. And I'll add on the charmoula. Mix well. Now cover and leave to marinate in the fridge for two hours. For the rest of the ingredients I've got two medium potatoes peeled and cut into slices, one large onion cut into rings, three tomatoes peeled and de-seeded and then cut into strips, one carrot peeled and cut into julienne's, and one green capsicum pepper which I've cut into rings. In the bottom of my tagine I've got a tablespoon of olive oil and I'm going to start by putting the onion rings in in the base. Then add on a layer of carrot and then a layer of potato. Then a layer of the marinated fish. Then place on the capsicum. A layer of tomato. Sprinkle on a couple of tablespoons of chopped coriander leaf. Then finally spoon on any leftover marinade. Put the lid on the tagine and take it to the stove. Now cook over a low heat for about an hour. After one hour turn off the heat and voila! Moroccan fish tagine. Serve with bread. Did you know that Moroccan fish tagine is an anagram of charismatic neon fog? In fact I did. And did you know it's also an anagram of magic hoof canister? No, I didn't know that. Never let it be said that Titley's Busy Kitchen is not educational. Join me next time in Titley's Busy Kitchen with me, Titley Han and Mr B. Until next time, Huda Hafiz!